I love art. I'm an artist to myself. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I play music, so I'm a part of the art. I draw also too. You can't stop this. There's a beauty around the place. It's 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 the place to bring out a more a more vibrant of the people of the city. And enough expression on the wall is what people how people feel and what they can show for, for, for Bristol. And I love it. I can't stop saying I love this. to how big I can paint or what I can paint or who's going to see it. So you know that if you paint in the street then the rest of the world are going to see it too. But I think that's really important. Well the arts can improve your life. Jazz is a branch of the arts. They, they give you a deeper understanding of what it means to be you in your time. But uh, you have to want. So I started off by working in a graffiti shop. Um, we sold loads of spray paint but we also had an exhibition space and we did workshops as well. Now from the back of that I ended up um, being recommended uh, to do the street art tours in Bristol which is now the number one um, walking tours actually sightseeing things to do in Bristol which is amazing. It gives obviously a lot of young up and coming artists a place to publicly display their work without having to, you know, create exhibitions and things like that. So this is the little shop. It's um, a collaboration of all the local artists from Bristol. And um, the art that's on the outside of the building entices lots of people, like the tourists, um, and it just makes it look prettier than just a normal building. I'm an artist myself, I make jewellery, That's I'm one of the um, people that, because it's like loads of different artists in the shop, and as we work in exchange for selling our artwork within the shop. In terms of a shop, we kind of blend into the background of the actual artwork. The artwork is so much more than actual the shop. A lot of people think that this is a little, just actually someone's house rather than a shop underneath the, the, the artwork. So It's from amazing, beautiful pieces of artwork to taglines. It's just, and it seems like everyone is creative within Bristol. Companies like uh, the PRSC or the Prince's Trust and companies that sort of uphold creatives, I think it's down to them to invite the public in and actually get them to appreciate and, and enjoy the artwork that graffiti artists do. People like the PRSC in Bristol actually sort of cross the lines from people that observe street art and people that are actually practicing as artists. So they not only invite the public in to see what's going on, but they actually support the artists themselves. I think people see how much hard work has been put into uh, graffiti and street art, and I think they can see, physically see, how, how much it's sort of uplifted the community, especially around here in Bristol. I think the street art in this area is great, you know, it just really brightens up the place and, you know, it, it, interesting political things like Boycott Tesco and there's always stuff on this wall about various things that are relevant at the time. It just brightens it up, it's nice, it's colourful, it's nice to walk down here and see it change all the time. I'm here at the nest painting this this board here. Um, this board's going to go up inside the club. It, there's loads of different artists that are all painting. Um, it's a really good kind of job because it means that my artwork goes up as part of the, the club display. Um, yeah, so loads of different artists. There's going to be loads of music, loads of creative things, break dances, stuff on the night. Um, and it, the event's called the Relaunch of Technique Colour. Um, and it's like a celebration of all things creative.
These kind of projects are really good for um, the community. So you get creative, so it's not just me, it's not just me um, painting this. So we're gonna have artists from all over, but Bristol artists. And it's really good for not just the artists themselves, but everyone involved, so the businesses, the, um, the people that are going to come here, so hopefully they're going to like the artwork. Um, and it's just a really nice way to, for sort of creatives to support each other. Um, projects like this for artists are almost um, like necessary to keep your businesses, keep your careers going as a creative. You need to keep putting your work out there, otherwise people are going to start forgetting about you. Like, hopefully they won't, but they do. Um, so this kind of work benefits everyone. So the businesses, the creatives, and hopefully the people that come, the punters that come to the bars as well. This is how it would look. This is how it's different. Look at me. Just how it would look. We like no, no, no view, no looking forward. But we have artists. Why are we going to keep them down? What would they do? Where would they go? How would they express themselves if they can't do it in the community?